gone. There's the hooter. David Plans leaps in the air. I don't think Casavik can believe it. Tremendous ovation there from the Castleford crowd. And Bob Beardmore, number seven. Well, I think he had a point to prove to the Great Britain coach, Maurice Bamford, that he should be the man for the Great Britain spot. But he'll not be bothered now. He's won the Challenge Cup and commiserations there. Nice to see the spirit that this game's been played in. But Castleford, aren't they delighted? This club founded 60 years ago. Winners on every appearance at Wembley. They disposed of Huddersfield in 1935, Salford in 1969, Wigan in 1970, and now they take Old Kingston Rovers' scalp in 1986. And always they've been the underdogs, Alec, but they've deserved it. They've come to the bootmaker's rescue raid. The three to one favourites have been tumbled and uh, justifiably done. Because Castleford have gone about the game, they've done the job right, they've took the chances, and I think on the day they deserved the results. It's absolutely fantastic down below. There's yellow and black flags everywhere. You cannot believe it. There must not be a person left in Castleford. Yes, and what drama we had there with that. Last kick, how delighted, I bet our little lad would have been in tears if that last kick of John Dodder, he went over. Nice to see Roger Millwood, a Castleford lad himself, played for the Castleford club, played for Castleford schoolboys alongside the Castleford coach, Malcolm Reilly. And that's a nice touch, commiserations with his captain, David Watkinson. In rugby league, you win some and you lose some, and this little man, Roger, has won every cup in the game. But sadly for him, not today. And Castleford on the way to receive the trophy. A local side, no costly overseas signings. Only Ian French and Jamie Sandy from Brisbane, two very moderately priced Australians. But that's the success Coach Mal really has done. He's blended the local talents. And John Joyner, well, I don't think he wants that Challenge Cup. £16,000 cash prize along with the Challenge Cup. And what a tradition the game created back in 1897 when the Cup was purchased for £60. It's worth a lot more than that now. And John Joyner to receive as winners from Royal Highness Princess Alexander the Silk Cup Challenge Cup for 1986. And how well he's deserved it. It's the huge roar from the Castleford contingent. 20,000 have travelled down from the town. Two out of every three, and I'm sure those people left back in Castleford, they'll be dancing in the streets. There'll be celebrations in John Joyner's fish and chip shop tonight. And Bob Beardmore. The man of the match. And how well those youngsters have worked, every one of them. And none better there than Tony March in that, that try. Tremendous piece of centre play. David Plans did his bit. And Keith England worked and grafted hard. Ian French. And the man who took the brunt of all the Rovers tackling, Kevin Ward. And little Jamie Sandy. What a magnificent match he had. Rose to the occasion. And good to see Rook Leon. A proud man, John Joyner. Crowned a great career, 14 caps with Great Britain. Won every honour in the game. And now, finally...